Value sent out another cool product for me to check it out and this time it's the Oxylink Remote Variable Oxygen and Heart Rate Monitor powered by Viatom technology. With this device you can remotely measure the vital signs of your loved ones anywhere around the globe and more importantly get instant alert for any abrupt changes. So let's check it out. As you're watching which Cube benefits your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is where I review smartwatches, smartphones, smart health tracker like this one and much more. So if you into tech, you must consider subscribing. Everything is time coded along the video timeline for ease of viewing. Let's start with price and unboxing. This Oxylink wearable oxygen monitor comes in two options. The one I have is the Oxylink remote, which comes with this remote linker, and it will cost you 209 US dollar at the time of filming this video. The price may vary at seller's discretion and check out the links in the video description for direct link to purchase this product and any discounts. There is a cheaper Oxylink Basic that only cost 118 US dollar, but it does not have this remote linker. It's just like the Baby O2 S2 which is expensive than the Baby O2 alone because it does not have the remote base station. I have done a video for this Baby O2 S2 oxygen remote monitor linked at the end be sure to check it out. Stick around as I will explain you everything to decide which one to get. Now in terms of unboxing it came in a box like this one. The box is magnetic and gives you a premium feel. Under the lid there are all the pairing instructions with the barcode for the vHealth app. Inside the box there is a customer service card, Oxylink wearable pulse oximeter user manual, a vHealth app user guide and the remote linker user manual. There is the Oxylink oxygen monitor itself, a remote linker and finally, the USB type A to a micro USB charging and data transfer cable. Now, before I show you the setup process, let me briefly explain you how this Oxylink works. Basically, this Oxylink connects to the phone via the vHealth app and shares the data to this remote linker via the linked online account over Wi-Fi and anyone who gets the code generated from the remote linker can view all the vital data in real time and also get the alerts. So with all that said, the difference between the Oxylink Basic and the Oxylink Remote must be now quite apparent to you guys. So this Oxylink Remote will be a very helpful option for those who want to monitor a family member remotely at a distant place like parents or any other loved ones and with this Oxylink remote no matter where you are you will be instantly notified with any changes as per the upper and lower limit set by you. Now you can also use this Oxylink as a finger oximeter to get one time reading of your heart rate and blood oxygen levels. But if you find this Oxylink to be too bulky for personal nighttime oxygen and heart rate monitoring then check out the review video of this O2 ring by Value after you're done watching this one as this O2 ring is half the size of the Oxylink but it will cost you 165 US dollar so you can save some money by getting the Oxylink basic which is without the remote linker. With all that said, let's talk about the setup process. Start by downloading the vHealth app which is available for free both on Apple App Store and Android Play Store. Now turn on the Oxylink device. You should see the Oxylink device pop up in the app with the password display on the Oxylink. Tap it to connect. Once connected, from the bottom tab go under Discovery tab. Now a very important step, you must sign in to the vHealth app. If you don't have an account, create an account and sign in before setting up the remote linker. After that, under the online backup, you'll find option to link the remote linker. I have already connected this remote linker, but from here it's pretty straightforward. Just follow all the prompts and you should be connected instantly. Few tips here will be that make sure to do the entire process near a Wi-Fi router and be sure that your phone is connected to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and not to a 5 GB or 6 GB network. With this tips, the setup process must be super easy. Once connected, you will be able to access the remote linker from the vHealth app where you can see real-time SpO2 and heart rate data along with the PI which is perfusion index to show how strong the pulse is at the sensor. 
At the top you can see the battery level as well as the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connected icon and the notification icon. At the bottom under the settings tab you will find your logged in account with SPO2 and pulse rate reminder and a bunch of other options which are pretty self-explanatory. You will also find sharing. Here is where you will find a code that is valid for 10 minutes which you can share it with your family member who just needs to download the vHealth app and enter this code on the home page of the vHealth app under add others remote view and they will instantly get real time update of the vital signs as well as the alerts. This is a very cool and a robust feature and from my testing this works great. Now you can also access the Oxylink monitor from the vHealth app but for that tap on the Oxylink and not on the My Oxylink remote. This will open up the Oxylink monitor and it will auto download the last four measurements. From the dashboard you can access your past recordings. I have been using this Oxylink for past many nights. Here is a sample reading where you can see the average SpO2, average PR, recording time. You can also see the graph for both SpO2 and heart rate. You can pinch zoom on the graph. At the bottom you will get the motion graph and I am surprised to see that I move quite a lot during the sleep. Going back at the bottom tab you will find the dashboard which shows all the real time data. Under settings you can set the upper and the lower limit for notifying you with respect to the SpO2 and heart rate. There are few other options which are pretty self explanatory. From my testing and comparison of this Oxylink to the O2 ring, the measurement is on par. They both are about the same and good. It's just I personally find this Oxylink a bit too bulky to wear especially after using the O2 ring. But I think you will get used to it in a few nights. Now let's briefly talk about design and fitting. This Oxylink has the same ring sensor as compared to the O2 ring. I personally find that the Oxylink ring sensor is a bit too narrow compared to the O2 ring. For my fingers and thumb it fits great but if you have huge or swollen finger this will fit but I would be concerned about the longevity of this rubber holding the ring in place. There are few details on the side of the Oxylink's body. There is a power on and off button on the side and the display is in the front. The display is quite bright but it's not that bright for outdoor use. However, keep in mind this Oxylink is not meant to be used for outdoor for workouts. It's just I took it for a small outdoor walk. Now to charge this Oxylink up you have to remove this attached rubber ring. This will reveal the micro USB charging port. So in terms of design overall it's great. I just wish it was a bit smaller. Now the remote linker is like a Wi-Fi dongle or an adapter and it's plug and play. Just plug it into any USB type A adapter and you're all set. There is a button on the right side and an LED indicator on the top left corner. There are a few details at the back. Now let's test this Oxylink's reading against the O2 ring and a finger oximeter for you to check out the scores. So as you can see all the devices are pretty close. So with that said here are my final thoughts. The Oxylink remote oxygen monitor is a very versatile way to keep a track of your loved one's vital signs like heart rate, oxygen and even movements. And not just that, the remote linker gives you the option to get alerts if there is a change to the set limit of their vital signs remotely anywhere around the globe. So you can rest assured that your loved ones are okay. The setup process of both the device and the remote linker is super easy and the vHealth app is very user friendly and easy to navigate around. The only caveat to this device is it's a bit bulky and does take few nights to get used to it. I find that the O2 ring is more comfortable to wear without even noticing it on my finger. But as I explained earlier, they both serve a different purpose and hence the cost is also different. 
That's it with today's episode. Thanks so much for watching and check out these cool health trackers from Value as you may find them helpful.